My name is India Patrick, and my project is on Grace King. Grace King was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, on November 29, 1852, to William, a successful New Orleans lawyer, and his second wife, Sarah. She is the eldest daughter in a prominent Catholic family. And this right here is her New Orleans home. Her comfortable position in society was disturbed by the outbreak of the Civil War. They were forced to flee to their country plantation, and her family, along with the rest of the South, returned to their homes to a lingering poverty. She continued to write even though her schooling was temporarily inhibited by the war. Grace attended the Institute St. Louis in New Orleans and graduated high school at the age of 16. She then continued on to college and attended a college in the South. She was influenced to begin writing after she criticized Cable's portrayals of the oppression of blacks and was told if she wasn't happy with this work, then she should write something better. Therefore, the very next day, she wrote Monsoir Mott a story about a black slave's loyalty to her young white mistress. Despite her career as a writer, she had the ability to work firsthand with many notable authors, one being Mark Twain. She was the secretary for the Louisiana Historical Society and was also on the advisory board for the Society's Quarterly. She is notified for, she is valued for her unique post-Civil War feminine perspective on gender, race, and poverty, while keeping true to her southern antebellum era. Grace King is classified as an American realist, alongside such notables as Howells, Wharton, and Twain, but she never quite achieved their fame because of the nostalgic tone of much of her fiction. Her first-hand knowledge of the hardships of Reconstruction enriches her works with lived experiences and therefore rendering them authentic. King's narratives are attributed to her overhearing her mother trade gossip with neighbors over balcony railings. Some critics consider Bayou Leong to be King's finest short story. It parallels King's own flight from New Orleans in childhood to escape the federal troops. In the beginning of Bayou Leong, the sisters are torn away from their glorious New Orleans home to live in a plantation. This forces them to quickly grow up and become the stereotypical women of the house. This, is, this event is very similar to what King and her sisters had to endure once the war broke out. At one point, the girls believed the war to be glorious and romantic because the men were risking their lives for their families. They also achieved this impression after being told stories and reading books of the chivalry of war. This idea changed during the story, and they began to believe that the war was just a joke. Though both Christine and Re Regina transformed from children to women during their leave, their transformations were much different from each other's. Regina became in touch with her sexuality and shows this by kissing the young soldier after she rescues them from the barn. Christine becomes a motherly figure and treats Bo's wounds. While Lett is the only sister that did not change or transform, she remains childlike in her behaviors. Each of the sisters, each of the characters represents the roles King and her two sisters most likely portrayed in, portrayed in real life. The sisters were shocked by the way the slaves acted once they were liberated. They did not believe that they were, that they mistreated their slaves. And this probably portrays King's feelings towards slavery. 